Hello guys, it's Michael here from Mixing Mango and today's video is there's not going to be much going on in the background but just I'm just generally going to be talking about updates what's going on for me in RuneScape and just generally what's going on uh, so first I wanted to talk about my Road to Max Combat obviously normally I'd release it on a <coughs> on, a, on a Friday which is today but I'm really close to a level and I kind of want to get that level before I release it so I thought you know what I'll I'll leave it and then I'll do it tomorrow morning and then I'll upload that tomorrow so that's cool guys so today I'm going to upload this video so obviously today in real life news it is Friday the 21st of December now apparently the world was going to end I I knew it wasn't going to end I thought well well there's like 14 hours left but the world's not going to end like if it does you know Who's there to say I, I told you so? But the fact of the matter is, it's not just going to randomly end because the planets align or whatever. You know, it's just it's just rubbish, really. So next, I wanted to talk about Christmas. I haven't actually done the Christmas event yet, but I will. Uh, I've seen videos on it and it looks good, kind of good, but it seems quite short and it seems slightly boring. It doesn't really. It's just kind of a bit repetitive. But the stuff you get from it is really cool. Like apparently, if you trade all your presents, you can get two hundred thousand uh, XP of Hunter, which is really cool. And yeah, I, I kind of like that. Although I don't really care that much about Hunter. <laughs> like, <laughs> who cares about Hunter? So yeah, that's pretty cool, guys. Um, next, I wanted to talk about is tomorrow Slayer event. So yeah, as you can see, it says there. Members prepare to boost your slayer and fishing skills as another double XP winter weekend event approaches. Now I have to say I'm actually loving these double XP weekends that Jagex is doing because I think it's better than the actual double XP weekends because yeah the double XP weekends you can do whatever you like and I think that's really cool and I hope they do more but on these like specific double XP weekends like the thing, the problem with the last double XP weekend where it was everything it, loads of people came on, everyone was flooding the servers and Jagex couldn't cope the double XP weekends, like for some people it didn't even work it was just really laggy and failing everywhere, there was loads of glitches but with these specific ones, not many people actually just flood the game so it's actually better because it means that I can actually go do some skilling or something that I want to do and I don't like lag or can't log in or just completely flooded at a certain spot so that's pretty cool so yeah um, Generally, as you can see now, I am, and this is my new gear. So, I am rocking the Bandos War Shield with the tassets, uh, chest plates, sorry, tassets, boots, and the BGS. So, you're probably thinking, where are the gloves and the helmet? I can't actually afford the gloves and the helmet. I've only got three mil. I can get the gloves, but I can't really bother. I like to have a little cash stack. So, yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get full Bandos, and then I can start to use all of my money on prayer, magic and range. So that's pretty cool guys. But yeah it does help me because it just means my gear is generally better and also I look like a don. <laughs> so yeah, so the bit the main thing, actually I'll just use my spins quickly and then I'll talk about the main thing I wanted to talk about. Uh, the other day actually I did get this little present. I don't know what it is, so I'm gonna wait till I it all goes over and I can apparently fit them all together and make like a super present. I'm not sure. That's fishing. Actually, I might keep that till tomorrow. That's pretty cool, actually. Oof! Would be nice to get. Oh, if I got that on, that'd be nice. Anyway, that's weird. So yeah, that might have cut out. So let's quickly use this. So yeah, so the main thing I wanted to talk about today is something very special. It is the Premier Club, the exclusive RuneScape Club of 2013. So this is just a general new like system they're bringing in to basically promote just like money making really. But it looks actually quite cool. I don't think I get it because of the price but then I'm not really sure so it says 2013 is basically it's it looks good yeah like they're bringing out a grand master quest two new skills fresh bosses and loads of other updates so that's pretty cool 
I like the sound of the bosses thing and obviously there's two new skills because I want to test them out see what they're like they might be good they might be bad who knows really so but that's that's pretty cool so next is this gold silver and bronze like club these like premier deals that you can get so it says here the gold package will land you around a 22% saving on membership compared to a monthly membership and includes everything here so basically if you get this apparently apparently you save 22% and you get all this extra stuff so it says here you get 12 months membership 10% discount on all items in the general Solomon's general store oh that's a win I'll, I'll buy that just generally for that no, I'm joking so you get one extra spin priority to runescape clothes baiters I like the sound of that I think I'm not really sure I might be making this up but the sound of clothes baiters maybe is lining up bases for RS3 the new release of like just the whole change of runescape so obviously the EOC is kind of like RS 2.5 they're taking the stepping stone from RS 2 into RS 3 so that's pretty cool uh, some cosmetic items more rune coins a range of more cosmetic items uh, entry into a pro oh god what the hell uh, entry into a prize draw to win an all expenses paid trip for two to Jagex HQ in Cambridge now I live quite near Cambridge so I actually might go down there one day and just have a fun day in Jagex HQ but <laughs> no that's pretty cool guys um, I think I would buy this honestly I because I, I think it's I don't actually know the exact prices but apparently it's seventy five dollars which is about fifty quid which is ten months of membership ten months of membership I think it's fifty quid like fifty pounds English pounds and so I'll be seventy five US dollars I think so that would be ten months worth of membership but you get two months extra and all this stuff so that's pretty cool none of the other ones really interest me I don't really care about the room coins or the cosmetic stuff so apart from the priority priority access to any and all RuneScape closed betas and the, expect, the the Jagex HQ trip that sounds cool because the thing about the betas is I never actually got well like you know the priority the, the first like the starting of the combat beta I was never really on it I wasn't allowed on it and I didn't actually really go on it because thought, I thought I don't want this new combat beta to come in but I think if I'd been there first playing it, that would have been a lot cooler and I would have played it more and maybe got into it a bit better. So yeah, that's pretty cool. I think Jagex obviously have taken a huge uh, loss of players. Well, not, I don't think it's huge, but they have got quite a lot of loss of players with um, the EOC release. And with all these new updates, double XP weekends, bosses, all this stuff, I think they're really actually trying to strive and make the game better. And I think that's good because it means that I personally am going to carry on playing the game because I still enjoy it. I really still enjoy it. I don't actually, I actually quite like the combat beta. Yeah, it's kind of ruined player versus player, but I don't really do that. Um, and it's ruined as other aspects like the market and stuff. But me not really being a high level player with like full Torva sets, I'm not really fussed that much. So. Yeah, that's really cool, guys. Um, this is pretty much all I wanted to talk about. So, RuneScape is kind of looking up into 2013. I will be doing a couple more videos between now and Christmas and New Year's. So, I'll, I wish you a Merry Christmas now and a Happy New Year's. But I will be doing other videos as well, guys. So, thanks for watching.